to me, this one is urgent. Uh, the number currently on the Elks, minus four. I released it to my clients at minus three. And guys, I believe that number will continue to grow even more after the injury report comes out today. Wednesday is usually the day the injury reports come out across the CFL. And I'll tell you what, guys, you know how a lot of times in the NFL, people look to bet on the team that has the quarterback injury because of the point spread value? Maybe not everybody, but sometimes I've heard that's a strategy. In the CFL, there is a massive, massive drop-off from QB1 to QB2. And Drew Brown, first-year starter uh, for Ottawa, I believe, is in concussion protocol. And the second quarterback, Dustin Crum, I think is a huge step down. He's never been able to make it as a starter. He's bounced around a few different teams as the backup, but has not looked very good when he's come in as the number one guy. And guys, the funny thing is here, the Ottawa Red Blacks are in a very similar situation as they were last week. They're facing a team that's winless. They face the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Winnipeg was winless going into last week, and they absolutely uh, beat down the Red Blacks. And now in this situation here, they're playing an Elks team. 0-4 straight up, guys, but 3-1 ATS. But now, not really trying to cover a point spread. Plus, they're trying to cover minus points here, minus 4. But I love this spot. Uh, minus 4 for them, coming off the bye. And this is a team that's actually had to play some really tough teams. Uh, the combined record for the teams that they've played so far this year, 15-3. and three. The Elks have lost this year, guys, by a combined 17 points on the season. They've lost by two walk-off field goals. This is the best time to jump on the Edmonton Elks. Their offense has not been the problem. It's been their defense. But I do not think the Auto Red Blacks give them any trouble as far as their defense is concerned. So I want to ask you this, all right? We're talking about laying more than a field goal with a winless team. So I know there was some support for, like, the Hamilton Tiger Cats last week. Oh, they're 0-4. They got to win one. And they got bombed again. And they've been close in defeat a couple of times. Isn't this that? Eddie, look, this, like you said, the same thing goes for Hamilton. And they can't even cover a point spread. I mean, it feels like the odds makers aren't catching up. But then at this point now, there's just too much disrespect handing out towards this Elks team. The Red Blacks have faced a, the Bombers twice, who just got their first win last week the Thai Cats, and the Alouettes. So they pretty much only face one good team so far this season. And when they face that good team, they have 47 points. So if you're someone that cares at all about strength of schedule, then this is a matchup you should like. Again, the combined record of teams that have defeated the Elks, 15-3 and three on the year. And to me, later in the year, you get the bye week, the better First few weeks, I didn't really care about teams coming off the bye, but now we are going into week six. Elks off the bye week, three and one ATS. They're in games. They're not winning. If there's ever a spot to bet on the Elks, this is the spot, guys, against this Red Blacks team. I'll take the minus four. Andrew McInnes, what do you have for the clients today? And watch your clients get on board with your package at wagertalk.com. Eddie, I'm going for winner number five in a row uh, tomorrow night. Thursday night football in the CFL. It's been a really good run. Swept the board last weekend uh, in the Canadian Football League. I had three plays, three right side winners. And I love tomorrow's matchup between the Argonauts and the Alouettes. But I also really do recommend uh, that three-day deal. Because right now, I'm handicapping MLB. I'm handicapping UFC. We just gave you a tennis play. And of course, CFL is where all my focus is right now. And I'll say this every single time I'm on the show. Um, if you want to get a special, if you want to get a three day, you want to get a week, you need to be able to get these plays sent right to your mobile device, right to your email. The lines change drastically every single hour, every couple hours in the CFL. So guys, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Let's cash some tickets.